Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, sometimes I really struggle with the fact that I am a makeup artist and a hairstylist and I'm in the beauty industry and I'm also a mom of three and our life is so busy and it's so crazy and when I say I struggle, I have the most wonderful life, it's fabulous and I'm so blessed, but I struggle with being in the beauty industry and wanting to look like I am dewy and glowy and Instagram worthy every single day, but also being like realistic that I went to Aldi's and Target today and I don't want to be walking around looking like a crazy person who's Instagram worthy. So on today's episode of Lips with Nancy, I'm going to give you a tutorial just showing you my everyday mom glam. Now this is a little bit more than like a natural eye. This is a little bit more than just taking the kids to school and dropping them off. This would be when I feel like I want to get ready, I want to do my makeup, I want it to look good but I don't want it to look so overdone that it looks like I think I'm going to a bachelorette party. You know what I'm saying, right? All right, so thanks for watching. Let's do this. Okay, guys, mom glam time. So I already started with um, candlelight on this side. You can see the look right here, totally finished. Um, but I already, before we started, based and primed my eyelid with just candlelight using a fluff brush. Okay, the next thing to build on to do this look, I'm going to use mulberry. Now, mulberry is like a mauve color, and it just gives you a little bit um, more pigment than you would have if you were just using the candlelight. You can see it builds a little bit. Um, but it's not really bright or bold, it's very subtle. So I'm putting that just right in my crease line and then I'm just gonna blend it through. Um, I'm gonna leave the candlelight visible on the bottom of my lid and on the top of my lid. And then the mulberry is just gonna go literally right smack through the middle of my eye to kind of create a little bit of a natural definition between the top and the bottom. Awesome, right? Okay, super simple. The next part that we're gonna do is use smoked topaz. Now smoked topaz is great. It's like a greeny gray color. It's gorgeous. You can use this for eyeliner. A lot of people use this to fill in their brows. You can use it anywhere you need to. So I am going to use uh, Sigma's Blending E25 brush. I love this guy. It's like dense enough through here that it's like tight when you're trying to make the color more opaque and a little bit like denser or um, bolder, but it's also fluffy enough to blend if you want to. So I like that about it. Um, okay, so I'm wiping off the little excess product that I have because you know this like a little goes a long way. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit in my crease right here. And it looks like I'm dabbing 47 times. I'm not, I just didn't have a whole lot of product on there at the moment. Okay, so here we go. And I'm gonna really focus this in my crease in the bottom of my eyelid. Blend it a little bit to blend into the mulberry. Okay, you can see we're building a little bit of dimension. You can see where this eye still has more dimension than this eye does, but we're getting there. Okay, um, next, I kind of like to let that set a second. I'm gonna build a little bit more of the smoked topaz onto it, but for right now, I'm gonna leave that. Um, I am going to take pink opal shimmer on a detail brush. Um, so just a little guy, and um, pink opal shimmer is very shimmery. It's a little pink, it's very soft. You don't get tons and tons of pigment from it, but you do get a good amount of reflection. So again, I'm just gonna, since this is detail, I'm not gonna put this directly on my lid. I'm gonna get a little bit of product on the brush. And then I'm gonna put it right here at the inside corner of my eye. And I'm gonna go a little bit under here for some good reflection and just a good pop to my eye. You can blend it with your finger if you need to. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more, not a lot, but just a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna apply it to the highlight area right below my brow bone. Actually, it's my fake brow bone. I wish that were my brow bone. You guys know I draw this on. <laughs> okay, nice little bit of reflection. You can see it the way that the light is hitting on both eyes. You can see it just gives you that pop. It makes your eyes bigger. It makes them wider. It looks gorgeous. Okay, so that's pink opal shimmer. Love it. Sometimes use that as a base all over my lid just because it's so pretty and it's so soft. Um, but just for detail today. All right, now that I've let this Milk Topaz shimmer sit a little bit, I am going to take, um, this is just the regular base shadow brush from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna take the um, Smoke Topaz again, and I'm gonna just build a little bit on this. So I'm kinda getting a little bit more product, not a lot, just a little bit, and I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna tap instead of really blend. And I am gonna go a little bit right over the center of my eye 
just to kind of pull the color a little bit through. And remember when we're working this, we're gonna work it up a little bit into the crease. You don't want it to be worked down. That'll make your eyes look droopy and tired. Okay, so you can see where the definition is coming in now and where we're getting our little bit of smoke from. Okay, looking good, right? Okay, uh, next we're gonna add some eyeliner. Now the awesome part about Shadow Sense is that you can make this really, really a straight stark line or you can blend it a lot. And so I love to blend my Shadow Sense um, when I use it as a liner. So I can have that deep defined line that I want and then in the same breath I can also make it kind of smoky. So I'm gonna use my, um, I'm gonna use an angled brush from Real Techniques. You guys, these brushes are super cheap on Amazon. Um, you can buy them. They're fabulous, um, especially for like starter set. I've got millions and millions of brushes and I oftentimes go to these because they're just quick and easy and I like that they're purple, they're pretty. Okay, so I have Onyx Shadow Sense on um, my angle brush and I'm gonna use it as a liner. I'm gonna get my eyelashes out of the way. And you're gonna press. It's not like a dragging motion, it's a pressing motion. And then I'm gonna, I don't wanna create like a huge cat eye. It's not the purpose of Mom Glam, right? But I am gonna put a little bit, pull it out a little bit and into the top of the bottom of my eyelid a little bit. And then I'm gonna take another brush, kind of smear it in. So all that's doing is adding a little bit more dimension and a little bit more depth to your crease without giving you this super winged liner look. Now I love the winged liner look, but let me just tell you, it's not for when you're running to all these, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it gives you the definition without making it crazy. I like to take the residual product and um, run it on the base of my lashes to give a little bit of an under eye liner. And if you get any product right here, you can A, wipe it if you're quick enough, B, you could use foops and a little Q-tip and just clean that right up. Okay, um, I also really like to take a little bit of smoked topaz on top of the onyx that I just ran um, beneath my eye and just add a little bit of the same color that's on the top just to give you a little bit of that gray pop. So it just makes everything a little bit more defined, makes it everything kind of like come together as a whole as well. Um, next, I know, crazy steps, lots to go here. Um, I like to use mocha java shimmer and mocha java shimmer is what is going to give us this little bit of reflection right here so right now we have our all of our colors here and everything's pretty matte and so mocha java shimmer is going to give you it's very like shimmery and it's got a little like brown brown in it put it right smack in the center of your lid and then you're just going to blend it now this is not going to give you a lot of pigment this is literally just giving you a little bit of reflection so that your eye isn't so dark with the smoked topaz all the way across just gives you a little bit of reflection makes everything look a little bigger a little bolder okay lastly one more thing everybody always asks how your eyes pop how do you make those photos where your eyes look so bright i mean they're not necessarily talking to me but people say it all the time and um a really simple way to do that is to take your pink opal shimmer or your pink frost or your snow or whatever and um, any like light color and take a detail brush a really small one and a lot of girls like to put black on their white on the wet line of their eye but if you take a lighter shadow sense color and you put it in your wet line the product is going to reflect your eyeball ow <laughs> be careful when you do this especially if you're doing it in your phone. Okay, the product is going to reflect off the, the bright part of the product and it's gonna make your eyes look bigger and appear bigger, which ultimately makes them pop and makes the colors of your eyes brighter. Who doesn't want that? Okay, so when you put the black on there, black makes your eyes look like more smoky and sultry, but since this is a day look for us and we're running to Target or Aldi's or school or whatever, this is good. So um, lastly, a little bit of mascara and call it a day and we're done, ladies. Okay, and for mascara, I use our Black Lash Sense. Lasts all day, stays all day. Great, waterproof, wonderful, love it. So, 
Hope you guys like my mom glam look. <laughs> this is what I look like if I'm going out and I'm trying to do something and feel beautiful, but also be a little bit reasonable and maybe not so Insta worthy. So thanks for tuning in for any of these great products. Comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I would love to show you more tutorials, help you with whatever you need and help you feel beautiful in your own skin. So have a good day guys. Thanks so much.